Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. This is brought to you by GameOne.com. Okay, I was going to explore the rest of this room anyway, but... You know, since I'm starting this video... Why not get the boss battle ready now? I'm gonna get my keepers and get a lot of magic. There we go, now let's take on the first boss of the game, the Sergeant. Yeah, Rebels! Never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. Well, if you think you're getting mithril, you're right. My mithril blade straight through your heart. Man, the nice thing is a mithril. Oh wait, wait, that's a threat. Okay, yeah. Believe it or not, this is part eight, and now we're fighting the first boss, the sergeant. I'm not gonna worry about Ned. He seems to cast it. Therefore, I'm gonna try and pump out as much magic as possible since his physical defense is higher. Do a little bit of buffs just in case, but I don't think they'll be necessary. I want to sock him with everything we got, magic wise. He does have a couple physical attacks. One's a normal physical attack, and the other one he uses his bow, which shoots three arrows at once for some reason. And it will hurt, so try your best to stay protected. And I think my Ming will use protect. Seems how Maria is still vulnerable. Ow! One of those boys hit me right in the head! I'm still alive! <laughs> Ooh, that did a fair amount of damage. And Maria's magic is pretty tough. I'm not sure. Thunder. And you use Blizzard. You use Blizzard. You use Blizzard. Give him a sub zero chill. To death. Got him! That was easy. Raise magic increase, guys' stamina. Ooh, I'll take that. Yay, we got some mithril. Two tons of mithril, and we're just carrying it with us. Other than that, we're just leaving it in the chest. Ooh, whatever floats your boat, right? Now, let's explore the rest of this dungeon. Oh, wait, I clicked out of it by mistake. Touchpad is so sensitive, I nudge it by mistake, that's why I lost focus. Don't worry, the emulator didn't freeze. What if I cross this bridge? I mean, if I want to get out of this dungeon pretty easily, at least I've got a teleport spell. That should bail me out. Hmm, what's in here? Let's go to the right. And we'll go to the left on the way back. Ooh, a teleport tone. Uh oh, monster in a box. Okay, this one's a land turtle. I think Blizzard will be its weakness. Let's give it a couple shots. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah, that's its weakness, alright. Uh, at least we add another enemy to the bestiary. Now let's check out this other door. Oh, you know the drill. Fire drill. That was really clever, too. Fire, get, drill. You know the drill. Fire drill. Okay, I'm gonna get myself right now. Okay, since I were done here... Uh, who got teleport? I'll let Maria cast it. I mean, sure, it's gonna bring her HP way down. But at least we got cure spells to help out. Now it is a level 5. Perfect. Okay, now let's get out of here. I mean, we can head back to Salaman, but I don't think it's necessary. I think what we really gotta do is head back to Altair. Tell Princess Hilda, hey, we found the Mithril, still in the chest, so if you want to go all the way to Summit Falls to pick it up, I mean... But apparently, for some reason, I'm actually going to be carrying Mithril with me. Like two tons of it in my hand, pretty much. Or in my ass, I don't know why I'm gonna be storing the mithril to. Because eventually I gotta see the blacksmith in Altair and he's gonna get mithril. Like, instantly, as if I'm just handing it to him. Like, handing like a big load of mithril here. I've been carrying this all the way from Salem, man. It's two tons, but here, use it. That's gonna take a lot of power to do that successfully.
Okay, maybe I should pay a visit back to Silent Hand. Seeing as all the people are back. Unless Paul got himself kidnapped again. Oh, there we go. Oh good, intelligence went up. I mean, anytime you can increase a stat, that's good. Up oh, there it is. That was easy. I say that way too much. I mean, of course it's easy, I was level grinding for a good while. I don't really need to see the other one than Joseph. He should be happy again. Looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me. If there's anything I can do to help, all you gotta do is ask. Oh no, he turns. Oh, question mark. The cave behind Senate Falls used to be an old mithril mine. The deepest part of the cave still has mithril deposits. I already got mithril. What's the point of telling me where the mithril is if I already have it? Like, couldn't you see me carrying like two tons of mithril with me? Is that not obvious to you? Apparently it isn't. Not the Final Fantasy universe. Okay, we're done here. All right, I forgot that mithril armor I picked up. It'll probably increase my weight, therefore my agility will have less chance to go up. I mean, that's okay. At least I got better defense. Unless Mithril has Lord of the Rings logic where it's light but still pretty strong. In that case, my agility probably won't be affected. Okay, there's Pop? That, yeah, I think it is Pop, yeah. That's my destination. I'm gonna head back to Altair. Uh, let's see, I could choose the airship. But that means that ship is still going to be at Popped. And if I go to Paloom, I had to walk all the way to Popped because the ship is not back. You had to ride the airship? I want to talk to Sid because that's where you can run an airship. Let's ask about the airship. One the airship to pay the guy behind me. And I don't really want to fly anywhere. Basque, the city to our east is under the control of the Empire. They're building something terrible there. And in case you're wondering, it's the Dreadnought. It's that big ship they're trying to build. Oh, right, I'm supposed to talk to the pirates so I can actually sail back. Oh, you're the pirates. I don't mind partaking with 32 gil, it's gonna instantly reappear anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Back to Paloom, and then to Altair. There we go. Now, before I head to Altair, I want to show you a little something a bit special. And since Mewu is here, he can really help me out. What you're going to have to do is go all the way back to Finn. Yeah, can you believe that we're going all the way back to Finn? You're going to find out why in a moment. I mean, luckily, thanks to the canoe that he managed to give me, It'll be a lot easier to get to Finn from here, that's why I want to go around that lake south of Katrea. I mean, north of Katrea. All you gotta do is swim, and now we're at Finn. Ah, damn it. Oh, right there, too. Okay. We'll do a little save, we're gonna do these captains. Now, you might think this is risky to do here. Don't worry, don't get nervous. Because you got a teleport spell. We're gonna get ambushed the shit out of us, but that's okay. Now, uh, let's see. Try to protect just in case. Try to teleport. Warp. And another teleport. Now, remember, teleport is an instant kill spell. If it connects, you're gonna get a hell of a lot of rewards for it. If you're lucky. Just hope to God this works. I mean, Mingu will have a better chance because his teleports are at a higher level. Now, let's see if this works. No! Okay, I better heal. I mean, if this works, you actually get a lot of rewards like golden armor, a flame bow, 
even like a frog tome, a toad tome, I mean. So you get a, a hefty reward just by winning. See? Let's watch. Plus it's a high rank monster, therefore you can increase your stats a lot faster, and unfortunately I got nothing even though I've warped into another dimension, it's still standing there. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, after doing a little bit of grinding, I'll head back to Altair and see Princess Hilda. See ya.